Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. All right, so we are back. It's 9.02 and you can see a massive change in the light. You can see a huge change. So what this means is if you are photographing somebody and you want this to be their background, again, let's take a look at where that sun is at. That sun is right there shining right in the face, which um, can be difficult for people to uh, pose without squinting, okay? Because, you know, it's our natural, it's our natural ability to squint when there's a light like that. So nine o'clock would not be the ideal time for this photo shoot. Now, I'm only specifying nine o'clock because I had a client inquire and today we will be having our coaching session. And so I'm out here doing the research prior to this coaching session. And even if they don't book, I, I know what it would take now to take this picture. So a couple of things that we can do, especially if it's a single single shot, we can place our our subject here and there would be, that's called dappled light. Then there would be dappled light and then of course you definitely with dappled light, you do have to use, um, you have to use off camera flash or some sort of flash because all this little light here will will make patterns on the face which sometimes could be really cool but other times that's not what we're looking for so you could do this that would be good and you would actually be exposing for this area and then your light will light up here your 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 person the other thing that we can do is we can actually take take our subjects and then this is the part that kind of gets a little tricky because um, we would have to take our subjects to the street. Okay, so I'm gonna come back. I am now on the street. All right, and we can do this. The problem is, look at that shade. Do you see that? You see this part over here, down here, over here, and off this way, hard light. So that would be in your background too. So it's one thing to take a picture and a lot of times when people are looking for locations that are not photographers, they, they don't know what they're, they just see something and they say, oh, that would be cool to take a picture there. And it really can be, um, it could be cooler, <coughs> excuse me, and better if we know the exact time to do it. So for this picture, nine o'clock in the morning is not an ideal space time for this if they're not able to get up extra early like to be here at let's say um 7 30 or eight o'clock i would prefer 7 30 based off of the time we were there here at 8 20 and there was shade that was uh, on this area, but if we go at 7.30, this whole thing will probably be shaded. I'll have to come back tomorrow to check that out. But again, this is nine o'clock, straight, uh, direct sunlight, which can work, again. But I'm gonna show you guys something now that I'm looking at this mural. I'm gonna show you something. For photographers, you guys already know that you're looking for this. But for people who are not photographers, um, which is why I'm doing a lot of this to help you guys, help you guys see something. All right, do you see right here, right here would be the sunlight, okay? So it's not here direct, it's off a little bit here and sometimes you'll have the light here, all right? And if you notice, all of them have the light to the side, okay? Do you see that? See where that um, highlight is hitting? That's what we call it. All right. So that's so the that means the light is the best lighting would be at an angle this way, right? Right now the light is straight on, so the light is going to be right here instead of off to the side here. So even in paintings, you can see that. Of course, with this superhero. 
his light is coming out so that's why we don't have a highlight on him this one's interesting that she put it like right there dang, you know basically in the middle um, but again you're gonna have those squints on your face when you have that lighting in that direction so I find that that was interesting that she has that light basically coming from this direction versus the rest of these where the light is coming from this direction so something to think about again we're gonna look at where the slide is it is way up high and uh, not in the ideal session um, place for us that are using studio equipment because of the hard shadows that that light will cause okay so just a little just a little information to help you when you are out scouting looking for a location for your on location photographer uh, if a photographer is using just the sunlight this might be a good spot but again that photographer is going to have to deal with um, they're gonna have to deal with those hard shadows and squinty eyes so this is not the ideal time to come and we hope that we can coach them and to try in a different time however if they are stuck for that time we can do it but uh, the outcome is not something that we can guarantee as our best work because we are choosing a time that is not ideal for this location it might be ideal for you getting out of bed getting your makeup done and all that good stuff but it's not the ideal location I mean time for this location uh, so you would have to consider a couple of things doing it later when the Sun is actually behind the building or doing it earlier where all of this area is shaded and that's kind of what I would be looking for to have all this area shaded and then that because once the light hits that area all the different garbage that's on the ground is also illuminated so unless we're going to come out here and clean up all this garbage that's on the ground you're going to see that it's you know the light's going to show it and versus uh, if it's dark, we're not really going to see it as much, and so uh, that could give a better look. All right, y'all, just wanted to share this with you. I hope this helps you when you're out scouting. Remember, DV3 photography is all about love, lens, what is, do I say? I say light, lens, and love. Light, lens, and love, yes, because we need, we welcome the light. We welcome the right lens to do the job. And we welcome the love energy to make it all happen. All right, one love to you.